for the Stitches and Sundry Floss Tube. Episode uh, 8. Oh my gosh, we've been doing this for so long. We've been doing so good. Even though we mm. kind of get off track sometimes. Yeah. Uh, we are a cross-stitching podcast and sewing and stitching in all varieties. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to talk about that. So if you're new here... You should, and you're interested in that, you should watch us and everybody Be else. Be excited for stitches. Be excited for stitches. Everyone else, thank you for coming back. <laughs> um, I'm Lauren. I'm Devin. And we have had some strange couple weeks. Yeah, um, it's been it's been three weeks since our last real episode. You guys should have seen our Christmas tree update that we did. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about in previous episodes, we were getting ready to do a tree for the Garrett County Festival of Trees mm -hmm. um, event that was is very different this year because of COVID. Um, I don't think the voting started until today, but our tree Ooh. is done and decorated and pictures submitted and applications submitted. So I should get some so information. We're that's what we're but saying. if you guys want to see the beautiful tree we decorated and you haven't already, check out our previous episode, which will yeah. be linked somewhere in Somewhere, there. something will happen. Yeah. The uh, but it was a lot of fun. It was put fun. together, and we got a pretty good group of people. It's we started with like seven, and by the time the day actually rolled around, I think we were down to four, mm -hmm. just because life, holidays, COVID, COVID. I am so done with COVID, guys. Oh I am so done. Um, but me too. <laughs> yeah, and that's one of the reasons we're delayed. Is you had like we had a family crazy COVID. covid scare um my grandma did test positive um and so my family's just been dealing with that she yeah. is 85 years old and the strongest woman i know she, yeah i was She's, like you told me and i'm like well it'll take more than that to kill her so i mean are they also going to hit her with a bus because that's what it'll <laughs> take she is a very strong lady um so she's she's doing really really well with recovery yeah. she's home um we're all kind of taking turns making food for her and everything so yeah. that's been going on and yeah. um but even even barring covid that like my dad tested positive and he had to quarantine and every but our our county is out of control it is bad and we're just like huddled up in our houses mm -hmm. like we both work from home we don't see anybody and then you know I'll, and there's nothing you can do anymore it's at your door there's no nowhere you know nowhere is safe like people thought oh look it's in the cities you won't no you no it's everywhere yeah and it's I, really 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 here right now it is really here but in addition to that we've just had other stuff going on yeah. for the past three weeks we did the tree we had covid we're in oh yeah i'm getting a new job so my job is changing yes. so i have been trying really hard to get the transition, you know, make sure my old job is in a good spot to, for me to leave. And it's just been <laughs> chaos. It's been a lot of life updates. Chaos so. <laughs> reigns everywhere. <laughs> and I, I have to say, like, one of the ways I've kind of been dealing with some of the stress is I haven't been stitching or knitting as much. I've been playing a lot of video games. I bought like four on Steam's autumn sale. <laughs> Just so you know, Pikmin is also out on uh, Nintendo Switch and that consumed me for a while. Oh, I like Black Friday, I was half tempted to buy a Switch and I'm like, hmm, $300, hmm, I'm just not doing it. And it's it. not going down, just so familiar. No, there's no Black Friday deal. It was just, well, the, I think the Black Friday deal was that it was $300 with the Mario Kart edition, oh, which okay. is normally more expensive. Yeah. Um, and Jason really wants to play the Mario Kart one, but I'm just like, oh, nah, we're not doing that. So we bought Steam games way cheaper. Yeah. Um, I've been playing Foundation, which is really fun. Um, Planet Zoo. I like it, don't love it, and I'm loving Frostpunk. Oh, oh yeah, Frostpunk's super good. It's super such cool. a hard game. We like, that's that's apparently your stress relief, is just to torture yourself by replaying yeah. levels over and over again. Well, I really like Frostpunk and They Are Billions, and they're both games that really challenge me. Yeah. But anyway, we have some finishes to we show you. We have some stuff to show you. So let's like actually get into cross stitch. Um, so, uh, I guess I have a finish. So, 
my first one i showed this started last time this is called blue ocean star by stitchora on etsy and that it is, is now so complete pretty look at that so it is done it turned out really nice um and the finishing like the fully finishing finishing part is not the best i ever did but i was finishing these an hour before we had to put the tree together right so uh this one i just did i think it's a piece of cardboard and then i put a little quilt batting behind it to make it kind of poofy poofy and then i hot glued the shit out of the back so it's not super pretty and then i did a little rope thing so it looks i mean it looked great on the tree um which is what and if counts. you ever want to redo the back you can. oh yeah you can totally just take the hot glue off and it's like hot glue and fabric are like okay friends so they just kind of come apart eventually you know um so that one is all done mm -hmm. and it turned out really good and i'm loving it those blues really great and this was from the Just Cross Stitch 2020 ornament magazine, which I did a bunch of stuff out of for the tree. Me and, too. Yeah. <laughs> so this one's all done. I also, I'm just going to show these really fast because they only, I also fully finished my little reindeer. That, that is that so cute. Gold. And it did my bell just for, just to get it done. They're just cardstock and felt. Done. Uh -oh. They're so cute. So those are my... Uh, little updates on things that we had before. Do you have any updates? Um, no, these are all new finishes. I think I showed them as whips. So should I show them? Yeah, sure. Okay. So this is also was on the tree and it sort of broke yesterday. So I need to fix it. But this is poinsettia by, I think like if we cover our faces, it might focus on us. There, there we go. <laughs> by Punachka, and I'm probably butchering that. It's from the Just Cross Stitch 2020 Ornaments Edition. She also um, has an Etsy because I saw her stuff being- Oh my God, I favorited like 40 things of her. I wanted to talk about that because she has some beautiful snowflakes. Gorgeous snowflakes. I need to do them. But this was so hard. <laughs> I'm just like, maybe later. <laughs> Take a break. Um, but I really enjoyed doing this and I finished this using a candle lid. I just wrapped the thingy around and I didn't put anything on the back yet. Gonna do that. I, I have some fabric I'm gonna do. I just got it at Walmart and it looks really cute. It does look really cute. I like the I like the beading and the snowflakes together. Yeah. Like And I did have to use a different thread for the snowflakes and they're sort of showing up. They do show up like when you look at it in yeah, person. Yeah. I had to use a gray instead of the white because the fabric I chose was, the white was not showing up at all. Yeah. Um, and then I pretty. have, this probably is my favorite. Um, this turned out so cute. This is, um, Little Christmas Tree by, no, Frosty Christmas Tree by Lou Who Stitches. And I finished it, um, with, um, I finished it by taking the fabric and wrapping it by around a, I think three by three or four by four piece of cardboard. And then I had another, I had some Christmas fabric in stash. This is just like a little pine tree fabric with snow. Um, and I put that around another piece of cardstock and then I had glitter white felt that I put around cardstock and I just glued. Glitter felt? Yeah, it's so glittery. Adventure Cat, what are you doing? <laughs> I think she might be trying to get in that bag, but it's full of boxes. So, so make it happen. But, and then I had this ribbon, because I went insane with ribbons. It just says Merry Christmas around it. It looks so cute though. And this is probably one of my favorite ornaments that I've done the full finishing on. It goes right up there to the Winter Village that I did in our last episode. Very they cute. look really nice too, like Very that. Cute. So those are my finishes. I have some whips. You I have, have one other little finish. So this one I hadn't really shown. I think I showed that I bought the kit. This is a Mill Hill kit, a bead kit. It is so cute. And it turned out so good. So this one's about to be shipped off to my friend in Texas uh, that I've talked about several times um, because she deserves gifts. <laughs> um, so this one's all done. I just finished it with some felt on the back, trimmed the edges of the paper. Um, this was an interesting challenge 
because it was, the stitching was super easy. The beading was interesting. So these little gray beads that make up its little kickstands and stuff are bigger beads and they're like just thread through and stitch like a normal bead. The tiny little beads, they're like, you need to go in and stitch down and then go back up and through the bead you've already stitched down to get it to lay flat. And I tried that for 45 minutes and couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Don't know what was going on. It looked, it looked like a disaster. Like my beads were all hanging in different directions. And I was just like, if I can just stitch this normally, they all kind of tilt to the side, but at least they're consistently tilting to the side. And I thought that was an improvement. So that's what I did. Because so I what just, do they mean by lay flat? Like so should like, the hole be pointed up? No, so the bead should lay perfectly vertical. Oh. Instead of off to the side slightly. Oh. So you go through once and then you X through a second time. I don't know if they're gonna be able to see that. Nobody's nobody's able to see that. I don't know. It why doesn't matter. Like that. <laughs> because I just was like, I can't do this. It, they were just almost too loose. I don't know. I couldn't get it correct. And I tried for a little while and was like, that ain't worth my time. So it does look really great, though. Yeah, it turned like out really it. nice. So like it. I love the little moon charm it comes with. It's very cute. So uh, this is my first Mill Hill kit I've ever done. I know they're super popular. And I can see why. They're very, very pretty. And now I have a super cute... Like, the person that gets this is going to think I put way more work into it than I did. That's that's the goal. <laughs> so since you bought that, I've thought about going to the Four Seasons like four times because you're like, yeah, there's, there's a wall of Mill Hill kits. And I'm like, I've been there and I've never seen these. I don't know what you're talking about. It's literally right when you walk it's in. It's right when you walk in the door. <laughs> but I, I was going to go and then I'm like, nah, I won't go. And then I'm going to go and then nah. And it's, so it's just... Getting out of the house anymore is a difficulty. I am a homebody. It's true. Um, so. so those are my finishes. You have whips? I, have, I whips. have two whips. Two whips. Two whips. Hit me. All right. So, you know, I just closed my little book. There we go. I'll show you a new whip. This is a this new... This is a new start? Well, yeah. I don't really separate by that. Do we need to separate by that? Okay. <laughs> I think it's exciting. Yes. This is a new start. Um, This is... What is it called? Silent Night by Dames of the Needle. And it is just a tiny little tree, but I'm barely started on. So. And this is what it will look like. Yeah. Right there. So uh, the tree is stitched in all black thread. Almost, it's only has two colors. It's black and then the gold. And that's mm. it. Um. So the tree is entirely in black, and then there's uh, presents that have like gold bows on them. I'm really hoping the gold thread I bought shows up, but luckily I have done like three cross stitches now that have called for 400 different colors. So I might have another gold that works. You might. I, I have some gold if you need it. Um, but yeah, it just has like, I didn't bring the magazine with me, but it just has like a tree. Oh, there's a little fireplace over here, which you can't see, which I don't know why I'm pointing like this. But there's a little fireplace here and there's some presents that go here and a really gold cute. star on top of the tree and it's That's really cute really and basic the fabric is a week's dye works don't know the name of any of it because i bought it from her store and didn't write it down and they don't provide that when you buy a piece of fabric so but yeah it's this been is fun 32 this is 32 count linen um i really like the color because that that like um it's really close to what the book showed. Yeah. And it's like a burlapy, mm -hmm. rustic. The modeling is nice. I really like that. Yeah. And I, this fabric I talked about a couple of times. I'm like, I'm really scared of it. And I ironed it and stretched the crap out of it to get lines straighter. And it really turned out like less weebly wobbly than what it was when I bought it. Yeah. So it's nice. And it is. I won't say it's nice to stitch on, and I don't think that is a problem with Weeks Dye Works, just to clarify. I think it's me and 32 count. We're not friends. Just the eyeballs. eyeballs. They don't appreciate it. Well, insert a side story here. My lamp broke on my head. <laughs> it fell and hit me in oh, the back man. of the head. It was a floor lamp. And so now I don't have my nice floor lamp to light up my space. 
So I'm I trying to one of these giant podcasting lamps. Yeah. I I might be. I I'm thinking about it, but um, I'm using like a little table lamp. And the problem with the table lamp is I want to hold my cross stitch up here and my light is like down here. So it's not working out. You need one of those like big ring lamps with a big magnifier in the middle that you could just like. like I need the old lady lamp. I need like, the old lady lamp. Like, like they use for like archaeological documents like, oh, now we can see. That's what I need. That's me. Um, I have a whip update. Which one do you want? Um, is this a letter? A, B, or C? Or a, B, or C, sure. C! C. <laughs> so this one is one I've showed before, and I'm actually, we talked about it a little bit, but I'm going to talk about it now. Uh, I'll do an update. So this is called um, My Favorite Season by Allison Embroidery. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. <laughs> and I made some real progress on this one this time. Uh, and there it is. So it is I am... really looking nice. I am making the loop. I've almost touched. And that is significant progress for this because it's a for so I don't think it's I can't figure out why this one is so going so much slower. It is on smaller fabric. I But you stitched I'm doing, on this fabric before. I'm doing like 300 stitches a night, and I feel like I'm not making 300 stitches worth of progress. But I mean you're an it insane lady. You're like, I just know that I'm doing three. Well, because I have it in my like... pattern keeper, so when I'm done, I can kind of see what I'm oh. doing. Um, but the um I, I am making yet. really slow progress. And so I am thinking about putting it aside for a little while. One, uh, similar to you, 32 count fabric is an eye strain for me. So I can only work on it so long, mm. before, like one night and then I have to take a break. Um to just give my eyes a rest and uh, move to something else. So, I don't know. I'm thinking I just want to break from it and I'm thinking of starting another project and putting this out of my rotation just for a little while. Like, it's, and, and that'll feel good because it'll kind of give you like, when you go back to it, like, oh, new project. Exactly, feels. exactly. Like when I went back to some of my, to my, um, perfect Halloween banner. I was like, oh yeah, I love this so much. Mm -hmm. It's so exciting to work on. And so I think this is kind of lacking that a little bit right now. But it will be after you. But it will be after I take a little break from it. Uh, so I'm definitely putting this one. I might try and get the connection done or I might just stop where I'm at. And do whatever your little heart wants. My little heart doesn't know what it wants. I literally, I think I told this story, but I literally have a little list here. I can even show it to you in my book. And it's all the things I'm working on right now, and they're numbered. And then I use a random number generator to tell me what I'm working on that night. Because you're insane. I'm an insane person. And I just I, I do it that way. You My little can't. heart doesn't know what it wants. <laughs> it's not smart. But you're an insane yeah, person. I'm an insane person. I was I actually told uh, when I did my job interview, they asked me what my organization method was. Insanity. <laughs> I was like, well, I can tell you about my work methods, but I can also tell you I'm a crazy organized person outside of work. I bring organization wherever I go. And they're like, they're like, holy crap. <laughs> maybe, maybe don't tell people that. But so, yeah, so that one is um, making progress, but I think it's going to be on the back burner for a little while. Probably just maybe, you know, rotate it out. And I have another gift I want to start. Um, and so I might start it when I feel a little, like, weary mm -hmm. of that one. Just flip these two back and forth for a little yeah. while. Just to give me something else to do. Give you a little break. Give me a little That's break. That's what you need. Um, so that is one of my whip updates. Do you want to do another? Yep, I, this is my only whip update now because I showed my other one. So, you guys have seen this before. I guess I should take it out of the hoop. Let me do that real quick. Boom, <laughs> easy. Yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> so, this is <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. It's coming along. It's You're coming. Really getting that shape it's coming. Out. Okay. This is what it's going to look like? Yes. And I didn't do much project progress on this. Um, my lamp broke, as I said before, and although this one is easier to stitch, it just, 
I don't know, there was three nights this week that I was like, oh, I could work on that. I really should work on that. But when we get to our knitting thing, I'll show you what I've been working yeah. on because mm -hmm. I have been knitting. Um, which is, I mean, I think knitting is my main hobby, let's face it. But I do like cross stitch and I am enjoying this. So I am mostly finished with this light purple. Um, mm -hmm. This, it comes back in right in these gaps right here. And so um, I just need to do that and then it's pretty well gone. I need it. I need it. Come here. Oh, the cat. You're trying to get in her bag again. <laughs> the bag with actual stuff in it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't empty it out for you yet. I'm sorry. But yeah, it, it's going and I'm enjoying it. And I have decided that this is a gift. I'm going to give this to Lizzie because she loves Nightmare Before Christmas. And I'm going to try to find a frame. Probably not as fancy as the frames you found. <laughs> but I'm going to find a frame. I mean, go to that place. They might have more secret frames hidden behind I clothing. I want to go to that place. Hidden behind clothes. So that is my whip. Uh, that's all my whips. It is, I think you're making really great progress. Yeah. Um, I have to tell a story about my cat really quick. So yesterday, we um, were hoping to maybe early next year get some work done in our basement. Uh, now that we think we've got the flooding issue under control. And to do that, we have to get everything in the basement basically out of off the floor mm. and so we're doing major organization to like make that happen and getting rid of stuff and one of the things we did was we took a old dresser like stand-up dresser and we put it in a closet and as we're doing this as we're fighting this dresser tooth and nail every step of the way somebody gets between the dresser and the wall she's pointing at the cat not me <laughs> And because we call her the adventure cat, because she, every time you open a door, every time you open a, a drawer, anything, she's just like face first, gets in every space possible. And the basement is one of her favorite places to explore, <laughs> but she got between the dresser and the wall. So we had to get Sarah up on top of the dresser to reach down behind it and grab the cat so we didn't squish her like Indiana Jones. <laughs> and <laughs> because we were, and we weren't even sure how she did it. Because she's not small. She's a little She's a round thing. cat. She's and very round. So Sarah's like, adventure cat, this is going very poorly. <laughs> like it's literally turned into Indiana Jones with the walls closing in on you. And then a little while later, we're upstairs and we're doing something and we left the garage the door to our garage open for a brief minute while we carried stuff out. Oh yeah. No. She's out in the garage. And I'm like, listen. You can't go from Indiana Jones to Arctic Explorer. Like, it's just not happening right now. <laughs> Get your butt back in the house. <laughs> so. She's just got to check up on everything. She's got to check up on everything. Oh, like, my gosh. Everything. That's hilarious. That's, she's got to be involved. She got stuck. I opened a drawer to put some pots and pans away. She got in the drawer and then got behind the drawer. She's she's a terrible adventure cat. <laughs> she's bad adventure. <laughs> so, anyway. All right. So another, I'm out of lips. No, it's your lips. show. Oh, All right. Sarah's going to bring in a Venture Cat. Oh, There's oh no. Venture Cat. She doesn't look at the camera. She is like everywhere else. She says Venture. down. I went down. And then she's by. <laughs> Dusty woes. So this is um, Horrific Halloween by Stony Creek. This was their pattern of the month for 2018. She did it before. This is what it looked like last time for me. I've made some super good progress on this. Um, this section. So, oh my gosh, it is organized so good. It's really kind of long. So this is Toad's Breath Beyond the Pale. Oh my god, I love it. And I got this entire. The toad is now done. I think it just had like eyeballs last time. Oh yeah, there was the like pumpkin. No toad. This tree over here. It is really coming along, and oh. I love these colors. And this is super fun to stitch on. Um, and I probably ask this every time. Is this 32? This is 28. 28. Yeah, this I is... like 28. 28 I can is stitch nice. on 28. I like 28. 32, man. Oh, I love this. I love this. All right, Alex, do Look the whole neon thing. Green, neon green or neon orange pumpkin standing out. Uh, All right, so this is going to be sloppy doppy, but you will get a whole rotation. It's really coming along. This banner really nice. is just going to look awesome. Oh, there. If I hold it back this far, y'all, you can see it. <laughs> so it is turning out really nice. This is super fun. It's super cute to stitch in. Um, his eyes will glow in the dark. 
Um, oh, that's the glow in the dark. The ghost will glow, right? The glow, ghost will glow in the dark. Yep. The skull the skulls in horrific. will glow in the dark. Yep. Yeah. So there's lots of fun stuff in this. this. And I can't wait to have it on the wall. So this is not, uh, every time I get it out, I'm like, oh yeah, I love this. You know, this is so much fun. Mm -hmm. The colors are super fun. I always feel like I'm learning something and doing something fun. So it looks fun. Yeah. And this is on 28 count. I think it's called Vintage Stormy Night Lugana um, from the Stony Creek website. And it is super nice to stitch on. Like this it stuff is, is nice. Uh, and I like the softness. I don't know if that's a factor for people, but it is for me. Like how the how it feels in your head. I think that's totally a factor for people. Yeah. So that's coming along really nicely. I'm hoping to maybe have that section, the stitching done. I'll probably have to do the back stitching still um, by the next time we record. And then yeah. that will be another section. I'm on, I'm on four out of six, so I'm, I'm closing woo, woo. in. I'm closing in slowly. Nice. All right. Last update. So this one is um, Halloween Ouija. By I really like this one. Tiny Modernist. Tiny Modernist, who I really like. Uh, her I'm not doing a pattern, but I've seen it enough to know. <laughs> I've seen it enough. I've been, I've been working on this for a while. Uh, this is what it looked like last time. I had gotten the whole top done. And this time I am making major progress down the sides. Woohoo! So I got two of the little motifs complete. Oh, so oh, oh. So I got the that slinky so witch cute. with her broom and then the haunted castle, which was super fun. I finished that one last night. Let's see if I can bring it up here a little bit more. So you can kind of see. Yeah, yeah, look at that. So I've got, only got one more square over here and I cannot remember what is in this square. Show the graveyard again. I love the graveyard. The graveyard. Look at that graveyard. Oh, I love it's it. It's so good. Um, so this is turning out super fun. Um, it's, I mean, you're stitching with a lot of black, but you're not, it's not uninteresting stitching. You're always making fun shapes and doing interesting things. And it's so. small. So like you get to treat yeah. each one like a yeah, small. You get to, yeah, you get to treat each one. Like when I got the witch done, I was like, yeah, I got the witch done in one night. Great. Like. It feels really good, so you feel like you're making progress yeah. really quickly. Um, so I just have one more over here, and then I'll do the other side, and then I will start on the main haunted house in the middle. Because That's your treat to yourself. That's my treat to myself. <laughs> so that one is coming along really nicely. Oh my gosh, the num num cat hair in my black thread. Ugh. Yeah, mine too. Because a Dog cat... Dog hair, cat hair, I have it all. The cat wants to be in your face. here here while I'm stitching just as close as they can get <laughs> it's getting colder too so they're like warm warm human warm. body snuggles <laughs> uh so that is everything I have oh we have something we want to show oh yes yes here, so it up here. There you go. I was doing some browsing and I Which really always doing I'm always doing browsing I'm always like yeah I should be cross stitching but let me spend 45 minutes to an hour just looking for new patterns that I want to do but don't ever make time to do that's me but I have I found the um, little stitcher I love her designs and I've been looking at her Etsy shop and I'm like I really want stuff I really, really want stuff but I want smalls she does have a good amount of ornaments. Anyway, I'm babbling. Let me just show you this adorable and let me say free, mm -hmm. adorable free little pattern that she has that is going to make a perfect Christmas ornament. And I don't know if my face covering up will help show that. It's Dorothy Shoes. I love that. that Wizard of Oz one. Dorothy Shoes. Yeah, we'll oh put it here God. too so you guys can kind of get a good thing of it. Um, yeah, there's no place like home. I love the little shoes. I love the little lace design on At it. The side lace is stitched. Yeah, yeah it is very cute. It and is very cute. For any, I mean, that is a great gift for um, Wizard of Oz lovers. <laughs> and, and not like lots of people love, like can get that. You can give it to somebody yeah. as a, like a home, you know, maybe you're leaving home, you're coming back to home. It's like a good feeling there. Mm -hmm. um, I know Wizard of Oz is super big in like, the LGBT community, so it's a great gift for anybody in that community. It's also like um, I had, I used to have a magnet that showed the witch's sh feet sticking out from under the house, and it says, "If the shoe fits, wear it." Oh, that's and cute. My like forty-year-old aunt was like, 
that is my entire worldview. I need this magnet. Can I have it? And I was like, yeah, sure. It's like a $2 magnet. I got it. Books a million. <laughs> and she's like, but it's so perfect because if you are a witch, just be a witch. And I was like, yes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I'm excited to do that one. I was I actually found fabric last night and I'm like, I should start this. And then instead I worked on the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, so. Progress is progress in any way you can make it happen, right? Like, yeah. Like if it's progress on a knitting project, if it's progress on a, your productivity cannot be quantified as good or bad. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot that I'm excited about. I'm still gonna do, um, it's the, the friendliest gnome that's from the cross stitch 2020 that is high on my list to do. And that's pretty high. Um, I might start another small just to have yeah, another small. Yeah, I like the smalls. I think I might switch gears and just do smalls for a while. It's good. It makes you feel productive. It I does. Like it. And I like the finishing work. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just make a bunch of things and give them to her to finish. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna have to give me a fabric stash. <laughs> I, mean, I can do that. I can do that better than my hot glue jobs. Oh my, mine's held together with hot glue. I just, I it's watched, just prettier. I watched some videos, and I should credit these people, but I really don't know what it is. But I watched some videos to learn how to do this. So, and they they, they were nice. they were really awesome. But I want to do do some like silver thread around here just to kind of like cover the the yeah the two different fold. pieces yeah but anyway finishing dreams you know because i have time for that we don't have time for anything anymore <laughs> all right so i think that's everything that's everything i've got and we've gabbed enough you guys yeah. have all of our life updates <laughs> but we will be back in two weeks normal back to our normal schedule i think we'll finally yeah. be back on our normal schedule since fall yeah and so we'll have updates and hopefully some new stuff and we hope you guys have a wonderful uh december great holiday times stay safe stay safe <laughs> stay healthy yeah. all that all that so we'll see you next time bye guys <laughs>